Hi, George Newberry again of the Newberry team. Part of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services California Properties. I need to make some assumptions for this video. First, you're having trouble making payments on your home. Second, you've done a thorough loan modification analysis and determined a loan mod simply won't work. So you're looking at a short sale as a viable alternative, but need some information on the best way to go about it. If these assumptions are correct, the information in this video is definitely for you. However, if you haven't done a loan modification analysis yet, I highly recommend you do one before you ever consider selling your home. For help on how to do one, please take a look at my step-by-step -step YouTube video on loan mod analysis at the link shown below. Now before we get to short sale information, I want to ask you to take a deep breath and relax because I'm not going to ask you for money. I've been providing information to homeowners about loan mods and short sales for years without asking them for a dime. Since you've decided you should sell your home now, you need to get your lender to agree to a short sale. That is, accepting less than the amount you owe on your loan as payment in full for the debt. The first thing you must do is find a realtor who's experienced with short sales, whether your lender requires it or not. Short sales are extremely complicated and if done wrong could end up severely affecting your credit for years to come. In addition, a realtor can ensure your property gets the marketing exposure it needs to secure top dollar, which is of primary concern to your lender. Never pay someone up front to help you secure a short sale. There are many scam artists out there preying on people. The lender will pay your agent's commission. If someone asks you for money in advance to help you with a short sale, run. Once you've contacted a realtor, you'll have to have a number of things ready for your initial meeting. Those things include your last two income tax returns, W-2s included, pay stubs, bank statements, and mortgage statements. You should also prepare a financial worksheet showing all income and expenses. It's important to be as truthful as possible. Know that if your expenses don't exceed your income, your lender will be very reluctant to agree to a short sale. And don't waste time trying to fudge the numbers to make it work. You'll be found out. Finally, draft a hardship letter stating the reason you can't continue to make your mortgage payments. Hardships include illness or medical bills, job loss or relocation, divorce, death of a spouse, and reduced income. Now, if you just had an adjustable rate mortgage interest reset, ask your agent about using it as a hardship as well. It's been seen a lot more these days. This hardship letter is key to you getting your short sale approved. Ask your agent to help you finalize the letter as well as your financial worksheet. Each lender will require different items in the short sale package, so ask your agent what your lender requires. Once your package is assembled, submitted by your realtor, and accepted by your lender, sit back and make sure to take a patience pill. Short sales take a long time. But thanks to California's Homeowner Bill of Rights, you can rest easier knowing that the lender can no longer pursue dual tracking. That is, proceed with a foreclosure even though a short sale has been approved. If you don't know anything about this important bill, you should take a look at the overview I give on my YouTube video at the link shown below. Now, if you're wondering about the financial implications of a short sale, it shows on your credit reports as settled, so you'll at least avoid the stigma of the F word. No, I'm talking about foreclosure. As to when you can buy a home again, in some situations you may be able to buy as soon as your short sale is recorded. In other cases, the wait may be two or three years. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and FHA rules keep changing, so check with your realtor for the latest information. As to tax relief and debt forgiveness, you need to talk to your CPA. In summary, getting a short sale approved and successfully sold is a complicated process. Make sure you only work with an agent who is qualified to handle them. I've received extensive training in these complex transactions. I'm a certified distressed property expert, 
received the National Association of Realtors Short Sales and Foreclosure Resource Certification, and I'm a California Association of Realtors half a specialist. I hope this short video has been helpful and that you and your family have a great day. Thank you.